Well, a judge is allowing a lawsuit against Sesame Place to move forward. You may recall one year ago, a mother's video went viral after she posted it on Instagram, claiming her daughter and niece were ignored by a character at the theme park located just outside of Philadelphia. Well, the video sparked complaints from other parents who said they experienced something similar. Those other families are seeking $50 million in a proposed class action lawsuit against Sesame Place's parent company, SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. SeaWorld has denied wrongdoing. In an exclusive interview last year, I spoke to four families involved in the suit. Why are you guys here today? To represent my daughter. To yes. represent your daughter. I agree. I agree. Not yes. only our children, yes. but all, all of, the of them. Children. That's yeah. right. All of the children. All of them. Katie Valdez, Umdawad, Quentin Burns, and Joselis Romero are among the eight families suing SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment for $50 million. They allege their civil rights and those of their children were violated during visits to Sesame Place, a children's theme park outside Philadelphia owned by SeaWorld. This is the video that started it all. In July of last year, Jody Brown posted it to Instagram, claiming her daughter and niece were snubbed by a Sesame Place character during a visit to the park. She says the children were overlooked because they're black, but Sesame Place denied that claim. I was sad. I was While Brown has not filed a suit against the park and is not part of this proposed class action lawsuit, it was her experience that triggered reaction from other parents who also have video. When I saw the video, it was an aha moment for me. Really? Because for so many years, I've just kind of like brushed it off. Why is it that my children never once, never once received a hug, never once received a high five? Well, maybe next time. From any of the characters. My daughter, yeah, she's four. three. So when that incident happened at the park, she's like, you know, I'm saying hi, I'm saying hi, but what's going on? So I just told her, you know, maybe next time, baby. I couldn't explain to my five-year-old uh, what happened to her because she wouldn't have understood. Did she ask you? The only thing she said was, Daddy, why didn't you give me a high five? And, I, you know, I... I'm like, I don't know, you know, let's try it again. What makes you all sure that this is racism? The children next to my daughter, um, they looked completely opposite of my daughter, and she was denied several times different characters. When I seen two white kids sitting right here on each side of her, my daughter was right in the middle, and he just g g gave him a high five, skipped her, gave him a high five, he was standing up in a chip, and another white little kid high five and kept going while my daughter was reaching out. He just kept on going. We were this close to the other families. High five this family, skipped over her. If it wasn't racism, what was it? Mm -hmm. Attorneys Malcolm Ruff and William H. Murphy Jr. represent the families. How do you prove it's discrimination? By the pattern. What we see is a failure to be able to recognize what racial discrimination is. Overt racism and more subtle forms of racism are the same. They're still racism there's still extreme harm that's done to citizens that have a fundamental right not to experience that type of racism. Is this about money? Is this about sending a message? Is it both? It's about all of that. Every amusement park in America is watching this case. And so uh, when they see what we will do as a result of what we see happening around the country, they will rethink their policies because they don't want to be in this position. What company do you know wants to be sued like this? In a statement to CBS News, Sesame Place says the park has been committed to upholding the values of respect, inclusion, and belonging for over 40 years. The statement went on to say that earlier this year, we announced a series of comprehensive actions to enhance our efforts related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We're going to find justice, but I feel like it has taken the innocence of my child. Mm. So they can give us even a billion dollars. That's not going to bring back my daughter's innocence. You so. know the damage that that creates in a little girl? Yeah. Especially now today with all the social media. You know how many young children 
already suffer from all of these insecurities yeah. as it is, especially as a young girl. Mm -hmm. To also have to deal with this, when this should have already been obliterated, as, again, especially in Sesame Place. Yeah. Like, come on. Well, a Sesame Place spokesman says we want every child who comes to our park to feel included, seen, and inspired. Now, since the incident last year, the park says all staff members have completed training to address implicit bias, promote inclusion, and prevent discrimination.